Yo, what's going on everyone? Brian and Jim here from Drink a Beer and Play a Game, and today we're checking out Splatterhouse 2 for the Sega Genesis. And just a clarification, yes, we're playing this off the 2010 disc, so don't bitch at us if there's any graphical differences. Released in 1992, this was developed by Now Productions and published again by Namco. This was a Genesis exclusive for a long time, not hitting the Wii Virtual Console until 2008, being the first M-rated game on it and also was included as an unlockable in the 2010 release. Taking place three months after the original, the Terror Mask once again finds Rick and tells him he can go and save Jenny and he has to return to the mansion. Jenny! Damn it! All right, so the graphics, <laughs> holy dog shit. This game looks impressive, especially because it's on the Genesis. And I need to correct Jim on one thing. We do have footage from the Genesis because I beat it on the Genesis. Emulators don't goddamn count! Emulators count and they're better. Yeah. Take a look at this game. It just, if you looked at this and you didn't know it was on Genesis, you probably would have thought Super Nintendo. The amount of foreground and background objects that are present at each stage is mind numbing. And look at a stage like this, specifically with the fog going on, you have creatures. There's so much happening and what's even more impressive, it never really slows down. All of the colors in the game are super vibrant, clear as day, and we're just really impressed. Each sprite looks really unique and Jim wants me to mention that there's multi-layer scrolling. I like scrolling sometimes. <laughs> oh, God! <sighs> so we had to give it nines. And as you see the footage throughout the rest of this review, I think you'll understand. It's pretty goddamn impressive. As far as the beer requirement meter is concerned, we're not even going to add a beer. This game is purdy. The sound. Once again, a very solid package. You get a little bit more of an intro to the game this time, and it's got a really sweet sound going on. The music in the game's great, pretty memorable if you grew up on it, and even if you didn't, it'll just get stuck in your head afterwards. The sound effects are a bit more squishy than on the earlier versions, which we do like, though there could have probably been some more to them. There's not a lot to complain about here, though. It's a great package. That being said, we both gave it eights. The sound does not take away anything from the overall experience. As far as beer goes, I guess we'll add a beer because we gotta drink sometime. Unfortunately, the control is one area where this game did not improve that much over the original. It still has that stiff, robotic gameplay that you were used to in the original, and trying to pull off that goddamn power slide is still almost impossible. Unless me and Jim are just really stupid and we can't figure it out. It's probably what it is. Or it's the alcohol. Either way, there's not much else to say. If you saw our review for the first one, you heard all of our problems with the control. It's just continued again. So as you see, we had to keep it at a 7. And I'm just going to add two beers just for the fact that they really should have made this control a little bit more smooth. Gameplay. Once again, they kind of went with the if it ain't broke, don't fix it approach because it's almost exactly the same. There's platforming segments. The game's hard as nails once again. It might even be harder than the first one. There's no different endings. It's just what it is. Doesn't mean it isn't fun though, because it's still just as fun as the original. We like the game a lot, and we both gave it sevens. Because really, it didn't change anything. It's just all a tiny bit crisper. As far as beer goes, I guess I'll give it one beer for one ending. I still like this game a lot. <laughs> Originality. Uh, Jim already said it. They did not change shit. Sure, it's a lot prettier and it sounds better, but nah. It's the same game. Didn't add any new moves, didn't add really. The enemies, there was a few, a handful of new ones, but a lot of them are just updated version of the original. So, as you see, we could only give this a two. We didn't see anything really worthwhile, and honestly, the only reason we didn't give it a one is because of the sheer amount of foreground and background objects, but that's more of a graphical enhancement than anything. So, I'm gonna have to add three beers because it seems like they really just phoned in the originality for this one. The replayability. Well, if you saw our first review for Splatterhouse 1, it's basically the same here again. The game is hard. Very, very hard. You need to memorize everything once again. I could go on and on, but you get the idea. So we gave it the same scores. Bri gave it a five, I gave it a four, and as far as beer goes, I'll add another two beers, but don't get too drunk because you need your reflexes to be pretty sharp to beat this game. So overall, this is a game Jim and I both still really love. If you're going to play a Splatterhouse game, going with 1 and 2, there's really not that much different. Sure, there's a slightly different story. 2 just looks a lot better and it plays exactly the same. So 
I might even recommend going right to two. We would have liked to seen a little bit more thrown into the game, especially because they had four years to develop this game. They could have done something other than just the graphics and sound. But either way, we both gave it sevens. And when we combined all the scores together, it rounds out to a 6.4. Now technically, yes, that score is lower than what we gave the original Splatterhouse, but really it was that originality that killed the score for this game. But we still have a hell of a good time playing this one. As far as the beer pairing is concerned, we're actually gonna go with Springhouse Brewery's Big Gruesome. It's a chocolate peanut butter beer and it is one of the best. Not only that, it has one sweet ass label. So make sure you pick up one of the big bottles, sit down, and try your best to beat this awesome game. As always guys, thanks for checking out this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave some comments, or better yet, why not subscribe? Till next time guys, cheers.